now let's start with the cholinergic drugs okay so cholinergic drugs can be of two main types one which are called as directly acting drugs and the second one will be indirectly acting drugs so directly acting drugs are those drugs in any system which cause direct stimulation of receptors so these drugs will go and directly act on L, uh, the muscarinic or nicotinic receptor indirectly acting drugs will be those drugs that by themselves not act on uh, the muscarinic or nicotinic receptor the mechanisms we will see as we go along so directly or indirectly acting drugs first let's take up the directly acting drugs in detail so starting with the directly acting drugs directly acting drugs are basically three drugs there can be choline esters choline esters or alkaloids two types are possible drugs which are either ester molecule or alkaloids these are chemical classification not much of our importance Anyhow, these drugs are not very popular, so we'll keep it brief. Choline esters, these drugs act on muscarinic or nicotinic receptor themselves. The first choline esters that we have is methacholine. Methacholine. Methacholine is a drug that will stimulate M2 receptors, and M2 receptors you all know is present on heart okay it acts on m2 and m2 is present on heart what is the result of m2 receptor stimulation i have told you in the table above it decreases heart rate that is the main action and what is the use why do we want to use this drug so this drug can be used for what we call as some supra ventricular supra ventricular tachycardia supra ventricular tachycardia that is the only possible use although this is also not very common so methacholine simply a drug acting where m2 receptor that is the point which has been asked it acts on m2 receptor in heart decreases heart rate and used for supraventricular tachycardia the first choline ester the second choline ester is is important and that is called as betha nicol betha nicol now this drug is important you have to remember few properties of this drug what are those number one it is a cholinergic drug directly acting on choline uh, style choline receptor secondly the the uniqueness of this drug is that it has action only on muscarinic receptor so this drug will act only on muscarinic receptor it has very little action negligible action on nicotinic receptor okay so stylcholine acts on two receptors muscarinic and nicotinic this is a drug like a stylcholine but it acts mainly on which receptor muscarinic receptor point number one point number one uh, what this drug does what are the the uses of this particular drug if we try and understand so it is a cholinergic drug it is a cholinergic drug so if we give this drug what this drug will do to urinary bladder what this drug will do to urinary bladder you can check in the table above cholinergic drugs contract hmm? urinary bladder bladder is a smooth muscle muscarinic receptor they contract so bladder contracts when bladder contracts urine comes out so this property we use for treatment of post operative post operative urinary retention okay post operative urinary retention p o u r as it is called as pore okay so this drug is considered drug of choice for pore post operative urinary retention clear 
it will act on smooth muscle smooth muscle will contract urine will come out and post operative urinary retention can be treated by giving this particular drug similarly we can give this drug